and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be updating my coffee bar. So I am very excited for this project and to share this with you guys. So as you all know, I love coffee. My first real job was actually at Starbucks. So I am an ex barista. So I'm really excited to make a full on like legitimate coffee bar. So I actually just got an espresso machine which inspired this entire project. And I'm very excited to make it more fun and functional and then also just make it like a legitimate coffee bar and then you can go and make your lattes on or coffee or whatever you want. So I am very excited to share this with y'all. I have been working on this for about two weeks. So I have a lot of different clips of putting it together. This was initially gonna be a vlog, but I just decided to do um, just a full video of how I put it together and then going over everything with y'all. But here is a sneak peek of what it looks like. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna answer all of the clips here on how I redecorated it. And then I'll go over everything that I bought, where it's from, and how I put it all together. Alright y'all, and then here is the final setup. I absolutely love how our coffee bar turned out. I love all of these changes and I love how functional it is. So I'm going to start up top. So up top is purely decorative. So these are all of our Star Wars mugs. So this is like our combined collection. And then we get into all of the coffees and mugs. So on the second row, we have all of the Nespresso pods. So when I placed my order for the Nespresso, I went to the Nespresso store at the Domain in Austin and I purchased all of these pods. Um, if you buy five, you get one free. I was just gonna get four, but I figured might as well get one and then I get another one for free. So I actually left a poll on Instagram and I actually went based off of everybody's recommendations. So my favorite is the Blanco Legero. So I actually have two of those. So that is in here and in here. I also got the Blanco Forte, the Hail Zeno muffin, and then vanilla custard, and then the 
chocolate fudge. So I love all of these. Um, so I'm definitely going to keep restocking and rebuying these pods. These are all from the barista collection. I don't plan on getting um, brewed coffee pods. So I bought my Nespresso just so I can make latte. So I think I'm just going to keep getting these. But all of these pods are in these medium canisters from Target. So I really like how they look in here and that you can see how many are in each one. Each one can hold two boxes of Nespresso pods. I did try it out, um, but I just have one in each just to make it easier. And that way they're all about um, on the same levels. So this entire shelf is just dedicated to pods. I did initially have this on this first shelf, so it was easier to grab. However, there was a label when you purchase these that to, to make sure that you don't grab the canisters by the lid because they're not secure. So I actually placed these up top so you have to grab it by the base so that the lid doesn't drop and then it breaks and then, you know, the coffee's everywhere. So I put those up top for that reason and also because of the mugs. So... These mugs are from Crate and Barrel, not CB2. I know I get a lot of stuff from CB2. So these are actually from Crate and Barrel. And these are the, I think they're called the caffeine mugs. And then I don't know what these are called, but everything will be linked below. Um, these are pretty heavy. So they are like a very heavy, thick glass. So I didn't want to have these up top. And it made more sense to have the mugs closer to the coffee machine. So it's just like one easy motion to just bring it down. And then... It made more sense to have the canisters up here since you have to grab them from the base anyways. And then I also just like the look because I feel like it's more consistent. And as for placement, I actually put these over here so that you can use them with the Nespresso machine. And these are more for, you know, your brewed coffee. So I have it above the regular coffee maker. And so I wanted to make sure that everything was cohesive and made sense. I also have this pour over from Target. It's from the Magnolia collection and I really love how the wood just goes so well with the canisters from Target because they are from different lines but I just like how it all just looks together. Um, we're also going to use this as well. I do like pour overs for more finer and more richer coffees so we have that but it's also just a nice little decoration and then moving down we have the best part so over here, well, so we'll start with the Nespresso machine. So I absolutely love this Nespresso machine. It's been sold out since Christmas. I really wanted the white one because I feel like you see the black and the gray everywhere. And I really just love how the white one looks. So I got the one with the aerator. So um, we have that next to it. And then I also purchased this syrup riser. So as I mentioned, I used to be a barista. So I used to work at Starbucks. And so that's where I got the idea to have the syrup riser next to the machine. So I got this off Amazon and I think it was like $20. Again, everything will be linked below and I love it. So I really wanted to have the syrups on the coffee bar. I did want to really put them in the middle because I liked how the canisters looked here. So I got this riser off Amazon and I love how it just goes so well with like the shelves and you know the overall look and they fit these syrups. So these are from Monin, I guess that's how you say it. You can buy them on Amazon, but I recommend just purchasing them from, straight from the website. On Amazon, you have to buy them in bulk or they're like $30 for a single bottle. And these bottles are $10 on the company website. So definitely recommend getting them from the company website. Um, the pumps are like two or $3 each and you can just reuse them. So you don't have to keep rebuying them. I'm um, just have to clean them out. But I really love having the riser on here. I feel like it makes it more of like an official coffee bar. And then I also like having it on the side because that way um, you have the syrups with the Nespresso that you use to make your lattes. And so everything, you know, it's all together that you need to make your lattes. You have your um, cups, your syrup, and then the machine. And then over here, we have the Ninja coffee maker and we have the coffee grinder too. So we have both of these together with the mugs that you need to make your coffee and then everything is just all together. And then one thing that I really wanted was space so that you had room to add your milk, add your um, sugar, add you know your froth milk if you're making an espresso latte. So we have this large room in the middle with these medium canisters from Target. So these are um, part of the same collection as the large ones. So these are the large and then these are the medium. And then in here is where all the ground coffee is. So I have um, my Stumptown coffee. So I have the whole bean. So this is half a bag. And then another half of the bag is in here and it's pre-ground to use 
in the Ninja. And then I have sugar for guests. I don't use sugar in my coffee. Um, I do use syrups for the lattes, but in like brewed coffee, I just want cream in there um, and not sugar. But I wanted to put that in the middle just so other people have it for when they come over. And um, yeah, we have that large room to work with. So I really like the placement. I really love the functionality of this coffee bar and how everything turned out. But yeah, other than that, that is the coffee bar setup and that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching.